Congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. When did you discover this this idea and what was it about the kind of concept and the conceit that kind of spoke to you as a, as a creator? The producer, Jason Blumenthal, and Tony, who wrote it, Tony Bascal, he they came to me with the pilot two years ago. So I was, I was getting ready to shoot Glass, and they brought this, and I was really taken with the premise, this idea that a family has lost, this couple has lost their child, and the, the mother is using this doll as a therapy and pretending her child is still alive, and she, she believes it so much that she hires a nanny. Um, that, I, that premise was so powerful, and I said, I, I have to know what happens to her. I have to know, and that, that urge was very exciting. And then that, that it all took place, or at least at that time, I, I felt like, wow, this could all take place in one location, right in this house. The whole show could take place in this house. That was really exciting, and, and I just wanted to, to keep telling that story. So that was a, it was a nice feeling. I said, maybe when I'm done glass, I could, I could work on this. But it is a really, really interesting uh, story for many, many reasons. But I was just saying to the guys next door about the the kind of claustrophobic feel of it being in one location. It's almost like a like a play. How do you, as a filmmaker, kind of approach the kind of one location where, on something like Glass, you're in multiple locations? Is your process any different? Or well, you know, I don't like excess at all. I'm so much more comfortable in a contained space. So e- e- Glass, for example, was too sprawling for me. I would feel, I felt like I kept on wanting to like make it smaller and go tighter and tighter. So, and I think that's my instinct as I as I move forward, one one place. And I don't know why I like that so much. I, I don't feel limited by that. I feel freedom in, in that because there's so much detail that can tell then where your hands are and how you introduce somebody and where when they come through the door there's all this kind of incompleteness in in the right way of kind of you paint the story of what the neighborhood looks like because I'm never really going to show it to you. What was it like um, shooting the the pilot? Because obviously you're there at the beginning and yeah. you, you kind of know what's coming. But also I guess for audiences, you kind of waiting to see what happens. I mean, yeah. with the pilot, you're obviously kind of explaining what's what's going on. Is that yeah. a difficult process, or is that that you know it's the kind of this jumping yeah. off point for? Well, the pilots are are notoriously difficult. The, those are the things because they have the burden of making you guys master a language and feel satisfied in this one little time period. It's very, very difficult to pilots of, of different shows what's, what's weighted on them because you, you're going to make your decision, ah, you know, I have seen lots of pilots that I go, you know, I watch the first episode, not for me, and then I don't watch the show, right? We make that, that decision of a commitment. So for me with Servant, I really wanted it to be off kilter. So the second, you, you can't multitask when you're watching it because it's just so odd. Am I, am I supposed to laugh? Is this weird? Is she threatening? Wait, what's going on? They're not telling me something. So you 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 got you can't multitask on your computer. You can't you pick up the phone or eat that taco. You got you have to be, you just kind of like huh? And everything is just weird and thing. And then when I give you that kind of the, these moments in the middle of the pilot and then at the end of the pilot, these kind of big pops of information. You're, you're you're reeling and that I wanted you to feel like almost like almost like laugh a little bit but I'm so confused what's happening did you did you uh, always want to because obviously you put it on it's on Apple TV and the streaming services but you, you're keeping back episodes as, as they go yeah. was that important to you to do that it because was a lot of shows you just get the full 20 10 episodes all at once was it important yeah. to keep the kind of tension I guess yeah you know this the kind of uh, super consumption of it is it's almost like, you know, it's like anything else. It's like when we're eating, I would love to eat three chocolate cakes. It would be fantastic. I love chocolate cake, right? But I'm not sure I would enjoy it as much as if I had that one ch- ch- piece of chocolate cake. And I'm like, God, I wish I could have another one. And so that's part of that feeling. We're a mystery. And so as, as if I can get you going to work and talking about it with your friends for one week until the next thing comes, what? Did you see what happened? That's crazy. That That's fun. Now, look, at the end of... 10 weeks it's there and then everyone could could consume it fast I, I i would rather they took a little bit of time but i know even my kids when they were i was showing them show me another one show me another one i was like you have to stop and i gave them this whole speech about consumption and they still were screaming <laughs> in terms of you as a, as a filmmaker obviously a lot's been written recently about you know the state of cinema and tv and everything else mm. are you as a filmmaker are you happy to, to kind of delve into both because i guess both give you different uh, pleasures and different uh, experiences yeah. as, a, as a storyteller. Are you happy to, because you've done obviously other shows as well, that you're kind of dipping your toe into to both and, and telling different stories? Yeah, this uh, this is very personal position for me. I and only speak for myself, not for the industry or anything like that. I love 
and and honor the 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 art form of telling a story, a two hour story, into five hundred strangers in a room together. That art form is my favorite art form, and that's what I grew up making. This is an opportunity to tell a different style of format of story. I can't tell a thirty hour story in in the movie in the movie theaters. I can't do it, but I can tell it in television, and it's it is more character based. And it's almost a generational thing because let's say we had six years of this. That's a long time you'll be connected to those characters and it'll be a big part of That's really powerful long-term way of having a connection with the audience. Uh, so it's, it's a totally different format of telling a story. So if I have an idea that needs to be long-term, then we'll do it this way. If it's two hours, I tend to want to do it. In, in that in the format of, of 500 strangers yeah and just finally as a final very quick question how is your new film project for I think it's 2021 we don't yes. know too much about it but how's, yeah. how's that process kind of it's going gone really 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 good I'm, I'm on the sixth draft of it I'm almost done it the sixth pass it, it's it's it, this was a big seminal pass for me I went from five to six and I changed a bunch of things because I started to understand it you're waiting for that that moment where you start to understand its language and it almost feels like Swagger, like you're writing with a little bit of swagger, and oh yeah, I have another idea, another idea, and that's starting to happen. So, I'm I'm at peace with it because I, I have to shoot the second season, so I have I, a little bit that's helping me feel like the, not the pressure of like okay, I have to solve it by the, by next week. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to shoot that in May. I'm very very excited about fantastic, it. Fantastic, fantastic. A pleasure to talk to you as always. Thanks Thank so much you. for your time. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll see you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!